low. So we make what five or six low. Yeah. So we feed what we need, and say we do six loads of feeding kind of. Yeah. So three sixty times. Yeah. Uh, Two thousand is. Whatever. Is there a risk of a? If I, if I overfeed, can I overfeed my starter because I've got 100 grams and I'm adding just over 2,000? Yeah, you're thinking right. Yeah, am I, is there a threshold that I'm gonna do? Yes, that? beautiful oh, question that it brings a little bit of more advanced uh, uh, topic is that um, feeding ratio. So what it is feeding ratio? I'm gonna explain. There is a, a certain amount of uh, feed that you can give it to a certain amount of starter, okay? So when uh, you have a starter, this is the jar and you have 100 grams of starter. That's called the seed, okay? This is called the seed. And when you add in the feed, the flour and the water, that is called the feeding, okay? The feed. Now, this is going to be in a ratio of one is the seed, one is the water, and one is the flour. This is, will give you a feeding ratio of one, one, one. So meaning, 100 grams of starter, 100 grams of water, 100 grams of flour. This is a ratio of one, one, one. Maximum that you want to go up, what I suggest, it's one, four, four. So if you have 100 grams of sourdough starter, you can give them 400 grams of water, 400 grams of flour to keep them strong. You can also give up, go up to 188, but I don't suggest because you're starting to diluting them. And when they, you're diluting them, you weaken them. 